I built the world's smallest, most power efficient 122 terabyte storage server that can replace your entire system while using just a fraction of the power. Powered by Solidime's new 122 terabyte NVMe U.2 drive, this thing is no joke. And the best part about it is that I'm giving it away to one of you. Yep, you heard that right. So hold on to your butts and let's talk about how this thing came to be. Just a heads up, Solidime is sponsoring this giveaway, so an absolute thumbs up to them. And honestly, I'm kind of salty because I can't even keep this thing. So if you don't care about any of this and just heard some bald guy was giving away something really cool, then jump to the timestamp down below. But for the rest of you turbo nerds, let's take a look at this thing and see what we got going on because it's obviously a pretty unique little setup. Now the goal here was to create the most efficient 122 terabyte NAS that I could. And to do that, I need a few things, a computer, 122 terabytes worth of storage and a way to put them together. The computer I'm using is the new Zima board two. And I chose this for three reasons. It's small, it's power efficient, and it has a convenient way to connect our storage. And for the storage, well, duh, we're using this absolute unit. This is Solidime's D5 P5336 in the 122 terabyte flavor. Yes, it's an insane amount of storage packed into a standard 2.5 inch U.2 form factor. Just for comparison, here's my main storage server that has roughly 122 terabytes worth of storage in it. Just a bit bigger, right? It's pretty obvious here that the main draw to this thing is being able to cram a crap ton of capacity into a smaller space, but you also get a faster, higher endurance device too. In sequential tests, this guy is rated for up to 7,000 megabytes per second reads and 3,000 megabyte per second writes. In random tests, we get up to 900K IOPS reads and 19K IOPS writes. Ah, the power of NVMe, baby. The endurance here is crazy too. Assuming you write 73 terabytes to this drive every single day, you're still expecting to get 134.3 petabytes of writes. 134 petabytes, that's like writing my entire anime collection twice. In all seriousness, that is an insane amount of endurance that is designed to handle serious workloads. Okay, you guys get it, right? This thing slaps, but we're not done with our build. Our Solidime drive is a U.2 drive, which is a connection type for NVMe drives. In high-end servers, you'd probably slide this into a backplane, but uh, obviously we can't do that. Well, the cool thing about NVMe is that it communicates on the PCIe standard and using our Zima board's PCIe slot, we can convert our PCIe connection to U.2 with a carrier board. It's pretty neat stuff. Conveniently, the Zima board has an X4 PCIe slot, which is the standard amount of lanes a typical NVMe drive will use. Unfortunately, it only runs at X2 speeds at PCIe Gen 3. And of course, you notice the cool mount I'm using here and you're wondering, Brett, how many hundreds of dollars did you spend on that absolute gem? Well, what if I told you I designed it myself and 3D printed it? Would you believe me? Oh. You would? Oh, uh, well, what if I told you I designed it perfectly on my first try? Okay, yeah, you'd probably know that's a lie. And yeah, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's got character. And more importantly, it's got uh, proper airflow to keep everything nice and cool. So yeah, that's our NAS. That is the entire thing. And obviously you're gonna need to run some software and what you run is entirely up to you. Whether that be TrueNAS, OpenMediaVault, Proxmox, Unraid, Ubuntu Server, Windows, Zima OS, whatever you want. If you're looking for something simple, you'll probably go with Unraid or Zima OS, which would be kind of hilarious to run Zima OS for your 122 terabyte NVMe drive, but I won't judge. In fact, that's what I did. I won't get into the details, but what I will say is that Zima OS has come a long way since the Casa OS days, but there is still a long way to go. For a simple share and a run VMs, sure, but if you're a true nerds nerd, you're probably just gonna run TrueNAS or something. Now I've stated a few times how power efficient this setup is, well, exactly how much? Well, remember that main 4U storage server from earlier in the video? That thing pulls over 300 watts while it's just vibing. This thing right here, 12 watts, 12 freaking watts. And sure when slamming that with some anime, that number goes up, but a 122 terabyte storage server idling at 12 watts is just freaking comical. In terms of speeds, we are very obviously limited by the 2.5 gig NIC on the Zima board since this drive is capable of speeds way higher than that, but only a smooth brain YouTuber would pair a drive like this with a Zima board. In general, you could just place these drives in any generic setup and they'll perform pretty well. 
when you're talking about highly specific drives like this one, you can certainly have an optimal setup. So when you have lower capacity drives, you can have an optimal ratio of DRAM to fit a conventional 4K indirection unit flash translation layer since your power budget is still fairly low. And as you move up in capacity, this isn't really an issue till you hit those really high capacities where two things happen. One is you stop incrementally increasing DRAM and switch to a higher IU to compensate. And the other is you switch to a more dense NAND type like QLC. Both of these things lend themselves to slower random performance, which is why you see those lower numbers as you move up in capacity. It's not really a solid time thing, it's more of a physics thing. Oh, and just to clear things up, DRAM is only used for the FTU, never for actual user data. I mentioned that a conventional IU is 4K, and it's likely you'd want to match your file system block size to that, and 4K is pretty standard. But this 122 terabyte drive has a 32K IU, which is a bit less conventional. If you're running ZFS on a pool of these drives, you can easily just set the pool to use a 32K block size with a shift 15, which will line up perfectly with that 32K IU. In terms of performance, we mentioned the numbers earlier, but those will vary greatly depending on how you're using them. For example, on our setup here, we have dual 2.5 gig ports. So if we're transferring large files, we're definitely gonna be bottlenecked by the network. But let's be honest, you're not slapping these drives on a system with 2.5 gig networking. Now it should be painfully obvious at this point that this is not a normal setup. Sure, it's awesome having a super tiny, low power, high capacity NAS, but it's clear that this drive is destined for bigger and brighter things. So why did Solidon create it? Who actually needs this much space in a small footprint? Well, a lot of people. Actually, not people, more like companies. The global demand for more and more data has been steadily increasing over the last decade with no signs of slowing down. And what does this mean? Well, it means that companies who are responsible for maintaining large amounts of data, like cloud storage providers, media streaming sites, and now AI development companies need more and more capacity. Sure, you could just throw more 20 or 22 terabyte hard drives at the problem, but there are a few issues there. Speed, power, and space. Imagine this. You're a company who just realized you need to add another petabyte of storage to your deployment. One option is to buy roughly 50 22 terabyte spinning drives. And for something like this, I'd estimated take up for you worth of space and use about 500 watts of power. The other option is to use about 10 of these 122 terabyte Solidime drives. You could easily fit these in a two use space with room to double that capacity. And power wise, you're looking at only using around 100 watts. We've effectively halved the physical space requirement and reduced our power bill by 80%. And realistically, you can assume 24 of these U.2 drives will fit into U worth of space. Now here's the fun part, scale that up because businesses who are looking to implement these aren't doing it for a single petabyte deployment. They're doing this for an entire rack, then they're looking to get multiple racks at their data center. Looking at the difference between two loaded racks, you can see that we get roughly six times the capacity for the same space and power when using the Solidon drives. So when you scale it out over your hypothetical 1000 petabyte data center project, you're saving a tremendous amount of space and power. And yes, I know you're thinking, Brett, what about the cost? Checkmate. Here's the thing. Yes, the Solidime drives would cost more than hard drives, but you know what else is expensive? Powering a data center. New data centers don't just plug into the grid and call it a day. A lot of them have to pay for large substations, or in some cases pay for their own power plants to be built to serve their needs. So when you talk about power requirements, it costs a lot less to build and maintain a 200 megawatt power plant versus a gigawatt power plant. And we're talking millions and millions of dollars here. Oh, and the solid time drives will just be faster too, which is always fun. Now for the part you guys actually care about, the giveaway. One lucky person is going to get this drive shipped directly to them straight up. All you have to do is comment down below letting me know what you would do with 122 terabytes worth of NVMe storage and enter using the link down in the description. That's it. This giveaway is limited to those in the United States, so I'm sorry to my international viewers. I just can't logistically ship this thing overseas. So yeah, good luck to all the homies. Now let's troll the people who skipped ahead in the beginning. Wow. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You really skipped here, huh? Well, now you have to comment, geez, Brett, you got me. I'm just a storage vulture. Then maybe I'll let you back into the contest. But that's all I have for this one. If you liked it, then drop a like and subscribe if you want to be here when Saladime gives away the 244 terabyte drive. Just kidding. That's not a thing. Yeah.
I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my high capacity NVMe drive that uses like no power and holds all my uh, home movies. And if you're still watching, you're SATA. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.